Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all good and are having a great Friday so far. Now, today we have something very special from Forever Skies, but a little bit more on that later on. Before that, something was released earlier today and that is a dev blog of the Tech Bay and a dynamic weather system. The more we find out about this game, the more excited I am. If you are looking forward to Forever Skies, please subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, drop some comments down below, let me know what you think. Um, Forever Skies will be something that comes to the channel in full every little bit of the game we are going to cover here. I am so damn excited. I've not been this excited about a game for quite some time. And today's dev vlog has just made it even better. Let's jump into it and see what we've got. Now, first things first, are these big, beautiful towers? In true survival game fashion, supplies are in constant need for the player, and Forever Skies is no different in that respect. But as always, certain supplies are not so easy to find. Introducing the Tech Bay. It is very, very cool. I love the look of this, just how high it is. It is a full-on skyrise structure. It is way up out of the gas there, and it's not going to be easy to get to. Our aim with these locations was to create an area with vertical gameplay, where your airship would require tech upgrades in order to reach the summit of the structure. And trust us, you will want to reach the summit. Now, I love that opening scene there, coming out of your airship and just looking at that top section. All the cranes, the wind, as you can see, is blowing everything here. Um, the, the weather up here is ferocious by the looks of it. The higher we're going to go, the worse the weather is going to be, which I'm very excited about. Dynamic weather is something that is really, really cool in games. Something that, weather that affects your gameplay. Like with Icarus, I absolutely love the storms in that. And I have a feeling this is going to be just like it with those storms. So here we have a little bit of an, what looks to be an interior. And these locations are packed with different items such as materials for you to extract, food, lost tech to reverse engineer, and even artifacts of the past to decorate your ship with. When you see this location appear on your radar, or even if you spot it on the horizon, it's worth paying a visit, but it sounds too good to be true, right? No, I love it. I think they look so cool. And once again, I'm, I know I've compared it a lot, but a very, very Subnautica vibe. I loved that game. I put hours and hours and hours into that before I started a YouTube channel. And I just think it's this is going to be... this. It could be a very, very good contender. Very, very good. Love it. It's so good. Ah. Oh. That early development footage, the graphics look... They look, they look good. It looks beautiful. I like the look of it already. So much. Well, there can be a few setbacks. These 300 meter plus derelict structures built by the last of the humanity, last of humanity to escape the toxic dust below are not so easy to reach. You certainly won't have access to them from the start of the game. Due to the sheer height of the structure, the base airship you start the game with simply won't be enough to achieve the altitude needed to reach the summit. And you will need to equip your airship with upgrades in order to do this. But more about that at a later date. Altitude isn't the only factor to consider when trying to reach a tech bay location. Another issue you might face is dynamic weather system. Look at that. I love it. So the flames there. Now, I think those flames are started by the storm because we did look at the exactly the same, well, almost the same um, area and there was no flames there. So we could be catching fire from storms. You, you never know. In addition to verticality, the elements will also pose a significant challenge for you when trying to reach the summit of these locations. Lightning can destroy parts of your ship, while strong winds can prevent you from traveling in a specific direction. These are only a few issues you can face when traversing the world. What do you think? Are you excited to explore the Tech Bay? What mysteries do you ex what mysteries? What mysteries do you expect to find? Let us know. Please let me know in the comments what you think is up there. I think we're going to be finding some pretty cool items. It's going to be insane. And it looks like we're going to be able to go down into these structures as well. So this is sort of the entrance to them, and then we'll be able to go down into them and explore sort of the belly of the beast, as it were. Uh, but I'm very excited for this. It looks very, very cool. Now, we did say at the start of the video that we have something very interesting to announce as well. Now, let's have a look at this. So... They posted something very, very cool in their Discord, which led to this tweet by GamesRadar. 
We're thrilled to reveal exclusive gameplay from the stunning survival action game Fly Forever Skies in the future game show on March the 24th. Live on all major streaming platform platforms. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned for more exciting updates. So, Thursday, March the 24th. Ah, oh, what time is that GMT? What time is it? Tell me the time. I love that. I'm excited to get some gameplay. I am absolutely buzzing. It is at 10 o'clock. Okay, that is good. That's not a bad time. All right, all right, all right. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I am very excited about that. Mainly because, I think because we are getting gameplay. I think we might see a release date. Don't quote me on this. I could be way, way off. I could be completely wrong. But I reckon we're getting a release date. If I had to put money on it, I would put money on it. I think we're getting one. I hope we're getting one, because I am buzzing. I mean, early game development footage looks crisp. It looks beautiful. Um, the the building-wise looks very, very cool. And they're announcing that they're going to be putting um, the storyline a little bit later on, so there'll be a fully-fledged like story and campaign to it. Um, that won't be coming on release, but we will get to see bits of that down the line. So I am very excited for that. We shall see. We'll see what happens. I'm buzzing. For today, though, ladies and gentlemen, I have been Wired Gaming. You have been awesome. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. Drop some comments down below. I greatly appreciate it. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit further, consider checking out the members tab down below. For today, once again, you've been awesome. I've been Wired. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon with some more Forever Skies.